Hey, what's up? This is your girl Tosh with Unstoppable. Please subscribe, like, share my channel. This message is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Don't forget to uh, comment as well. But um, yeah, so Sagittarius, there is someone uh, who's watching you, uh, someone thinking about you, possibly trying to figure out whether or not they want to move towards you. Okay. But it's like, there are some delays in your life at this time. Okay. You may be feeling like impatient, but trying to gain the patience to wait on someone to make a decision for you. Someone you, uh, you really want to come in. Uh, you want them to reveal themselves. You want them to show their love, express themselves, show them the real, uh, show them their real self towards you. Okay. Cause it's like, for some of you, you really know their heart, you know how they really are, but it's like this person could have, um, move towards someone else. Okay. Are they dealing with someone else that could have a player energy as well? But like, yeah, delays, uh, delays in, uh, you know, your career and your moves. Okay. But it's like, you feel like there's delays, but they're going to come forward, but you just need to be patient. Okay. Waiting on people. Okay. They delay and stuff. You try to go somewhere, you get delayed. Okay. Just like all kind of warning signs. Okay. So I seen this on my way home, a whole bunch of yellow lights kept coming. I'm like, no, but you know what I did? I zoomed through them. Up, okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. But it's like, you're going to try to gain the patience, but it's like, you're not going to let nothing stop you. Okay. Because you're going to win at all costs. Nothing can hold you back. Nothing can take you down. Okay. This is your mood at this time. Okay. Fighting for your love. Okay. But it's like, there's someone that's on your mind. Some of you are, you know, going out. I see, uh, some, some of you could be trying to shop for the holidays, the color white is significant as well. Okay. I heard uh, something about um, New Year's. Okay. So you could be, this is a song that I heard, but uh, you could be buying something white to go out and uh, you're going to be turning heads. Okay. Yes. Turning heads. So make sure that you're looking your best out there. Put on your best because somebody is going to be catching your eye or you're going to be catching somebody's eye. Someone out there and it's like, I feel like this could be like at a gathering of some sort. It could be the club. It could be a party. It could be a wedding. Okay. But uh, this person is like, I, I feel like this person is going to be distracted. Like they're going to be like maybe chatting with their friends. Like, yeah, like... Damn, who is that? <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> and this person might buy you a drink. They may offer you a drink. They may offer you to dance, okay? This person sees you as someone who's very beautiful, admiring you, okay? They could want to take you to a hotel and just like that, okay? And, you know, do what you do. Do what you do, okay? If you someone that like going to the hotels on the first night, that's you, okay? It's your body, Okay, but some of you could live in a hotel as well. Okay, but some of you are dancers out there. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm seeing, uh, yeah, just waiting on people. Okay, people slowing you down. But it's like, hmm, you're going to have your foot on people's neck at the same time. For some of you, it's like, I don't have time to wait. I've been patient. I deserve this. I deserve better. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I manifested. I'm ready for it to come, okay? Okay, so it's like right now you feel... Um, very trapped in your mind. Okay. There's a wish here. You could be dealing with Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, also Libra. Okay. But it's like, you're really trying to find a balance and trying to gain patience. Okay. There's someone who's on your mind that possibly with the six of swords, uh, it may have, um, you might have had some kind of disagreement with this person. Okay. It might have caused a separation, but it's like you've really been trying to be patient, really thinking about this person, okay, but stuck in your head because it's like you're really wishing for something to come together. Exactly.
Yeah, you could be dealing with the earth sign. Yeah. This person, um, I feel like this is someone who has options, okay? It's like they're really causing a destruction in the relationship, okay? Leaving you up in your head with the chariot. It's like this person has a lot of options, okay? They don't really know which way to go. It's like they want to move towards you. They have confidence in this. It's like they, they, they're they determined to do it. But at the same time, y'all been through a lot of situations at hand. This person has put you in a third party that caused a tower, okay? And for some of you, you already, you know, you dealt with this person. You know how this person is. But it's like you really want this to work, okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I feel like you're really trying to gather the strength, okay, regarding this situation. It's like <clears throat> you feel like there's no more love left, okay? It's like your heart is closed off when it comes to the tower, okay? Because this person puts you in a third party, but you're trying to gather the strength to remain calm. Yeah. This person has caused you a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. When you're someone who's powerful, you're very intuitive, okay? You have knowledge regarding this situation. This person is, is like a sex-based relationship with them. That's all that they think about is sex, okay? Them dealing with other people has really put a, a damper on the relationship, okay? And we have victory. So it's like at the end of the day, whatever you're trying to manifest is going to um, is going to be, the ball is going to be in your court, okay? Some of you are uh, waiting on a job offer, okay? But really focus on your money at this time. This person is very, uh, what did I pick up? Okay, yeah, the Knight of Cups. So it's like with the Knight of Cups, the Hermit, and the Six of Pentacles, it's like this person, like I say, they, they're they really thinking about you, okay? They have a lot of uh, deep regrets and sorrow regarding this situation, but there's someone who's really focused on their money, okay? You could be, de be dealing with someone who's uh, very um, uh, career-driven. They, they want to work on their finances, but it's like they're thinking about coming back and building with you at the same time. But it, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah. This Virgo has definitely put you in a third party situation. Okay. They feel like there is. <laughs> There is nothing else left regarding this situation. So it's like they're in a battle between whether they should walk, move towards you or move away from you. Okay. I feel like this person is just in a mental conflict. They don't know exactly what to do. Okay. Yeah. It's like constant change. Okay. Constant change in this relationship. But it's like you're going to walk away. You're going to do something different with your life, okay? Feeling like you're in a constant battle, constant struggle with this person. And with the three of wands, yeah, this person is closed off. They want to do something different. They're looking at other options, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo Scorpio. Uh, Leo Scorpio, uh, Taurus, and Aquarius, okay? And with the Knight of Swords, it's like, yeah, Emotional grief, pain, depression, okay? This person really does care for you, but they feel like there's nothing else left, okay? It's like they're tired of the options that, that 
they have right now. Okay. They, they see no more love left in this situation. They're not happy. They're very dissatisfied. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this person created, you know, all these obstacles regarding the family situation. Okay. They feel like there's nothing else left, but it's like, you really want to fight for your family. Okay. With the five of ones and the nine of ones. This person, you might see them as someone who only thinks about themselves, okay? It's like they only, they're only they only here to satisfy themselves and what they want, okay? But it's like it's, it's, this is what's causing this, this disruption in this relationship because you're trying to get this person to hopefully see what they have, what they're missing, okay? letting them be letting it be known that you are the one okay because you want to be with them you really feel like this is your person to settle down with and for some of you you could be married and you're really trying to work on the relationship but this person is cheating on you behind your back you may already know this so today i was at a chinese restaurant right y'all it's not funny but tell me why the chinese man was drinking dirty water I kid you not. This was before I got home. I ordered a uh, sesame chicken uh, with fried rice. He had the cup, right? Drinking out of the cup. I looked, I'm like, is that what I think it is? I said, what's that you drinking? I said, is that water? He, You know how they do that. Like they can't, they don't know English. He said, uh-huh, uh yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh which one? Okay, but anyway, she's like, yeah, water. I said, it's dirty. This is not clean water. I hope you're not cooking my food with this shit. You know? He like, oh, no. Good, good. Good for me. Good for me. I'm like, no. So I went in my car. I sat there. And I was like, I'm going to give him a bottle of water because I keep water in my trunk. And so um, I did that. I gave him a bottle uh, Aquafina. When he handed me my my bag of food, I handed him this. Actually, I just set it down like that, and was like, "You need to drink some some clean water, okay?" And so, what I take that as, some of you are dealing with some dirty ass people, okay? But this person is dirty, and you know they dirty, okay? You need to go get your check checkups as well, okay? It's like, you know, this person is dirty, but you still, you steady dealing with this person, steady drinking that cup of love. Okay. Steady receiving that pain when it's time for you to realize that you are better and you can walk away from this situation because you're more powerful and you're stronger than you think. Okay. But it's like right now you're finding the strength to walk away. You could be studying something. You could be studying tarot. Okay. For some of you. Okay building new projects, coming together with like-minded people, working on your business, working on your finances as well. Okay. And for some of you, uh, a cup of love is going to come in. Some of you are going to be getting married, going to get proposals, engagements as well. Okay. But some of you are already married and you're dealing with a, a painful situation. What does this person think about Sagittarius at this time? What is this person thinking about Sagittarius at this time? Uh huh. So they are, they do think about you, especially when it comes to music, but they have a third party situation going on. Okay. They might try to come in and lie to you. I'm also getting uh, someone who's a liar, someone who plays games with you. Yeah, and so with the Hierophant in the Wheel of Fortune, you caught this person in the act or you will be, okay? You caught this person, uh, you know, possibly dealing with other people. And it caused you a lot of pain re and regret and sorrow, okay? Got you up crying, worried about, you know, what's going on, okay? But it's like this person is telling you, 
I'm lucky to have you. You make me happy, okay? And I don't want nobody else. But at the same time, they full of that bull shit, right? Okay? And they have negative thoughts at the same time. So this person is not being real. They believe in their own lies, okay? I got let your friends help you, okay? So right now, you're going to be relying on your friends for emotional support. Yeah, relying on your friends for emotional support. But like I say, you're going to be going to parties, gatherings, okay? Um, birthday parties, you know, weddings, anniversary parties. Some of you have class reunions coming up. Air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could be dealing with that sign as well. Your love is one of a kind, but this person is possibly on drugs, alcohol, or they are very addicted to sex, okay? When you came together, it was like your best friend, okay? Yeah, homecoming. So right now, you're going to be focusing on home, or you need to. But realizing that's where you need to be to settle and get you some rest, okay? Not conforming to what other people want you to be or trying to pretend to be somebody else, being yourself, coming back home to who you really are, but realization, okay, that that's where your heart is, okay? But it's like stability, okay? You're someone who wants stability, okay? Some of you could be managers out there working on your staff, okay? But... uh yeah, it's like really trying to ground yourself, but you want stability in this relationship. And you're really going to be focusing on your home life, especially if you live with this person. Okay. But some of you do feel stuck. Okay. Feeling like you can't get out, get out of a situation. Okay. Feeling trapped. Like there's no way to go. This person might provide for you financially or they have. You want this person to come to you and confront, confront the situation, okay? But for some of you, it's like you really need to confront this person. I feel like when you try to confront them, they try to like walk away, try to brush it off. Like there's nothing going on. Like they don't want to hear you. Okay, yeah, cleansing, okay? So right now, you're going to be uh, healing yourself, purifying yourself, meditating. Uh, some of you could be going back to church, getting baptized, okay? But some of you could be dancers or strippers, okay? Um, but like I say, uh, sexual healing is here as well. But being a wa around water, the devil is alive, and we're going to get it out. But being around water really helps you and soothes your mind, okay? But you really do need to get around uh, nature and... Uh, I would say more so like get around water, maybe go outside, get around like a waterfall and just think and write down your thoughts. OK, this could be somewhat be something that's very helpful to you. But uh, also, yeah. This looks like a same sex relationship, possibly. OK, because there is someone else in the water. OK, you could be, you know, curvy, maybe kind of curvy up top for some of you. Okay. Yeah, you're very hopeful and you want this situation to change for the better. Like I say, same sex relationship for some of you, uh, but the numbers five can be significant as well. 41 or 14. You're wishing for something to come in. Okay. You're waiting on a message possibly. Okay, but we have authenticity, exactly. Letting your truth be heard, okay? For some of you, you could have three kids, okay? But the number three can be significant, also one, okay? Very intuitive. You could be watching this person, trying to figure out what they're doing, trying to get some tarot readings on them, 
trying to get information. Okay, but purifying yourself at the same time and trying to be better than what you were because it's like I've had a lot of arguments and disagreements and you're just really tired of that. You don't want to do that anymore with this person. The holidays is coming up. You want to, you know, visit the family, you know, have positivity going, being peaceful. You don't want to be fighting with this person during the holidays. I, I don't blame you, but compassion because you are love unconditionally. OK, some of you could wear your hair in a ponytail. You could be Indian as well. You might have mold, a mold somewhere on your face. For some of you, you might like jewelry. OK, perfume. But yeah, but see how she's by the water. OK, but some of you are traveling by water, possibly at nighttime. But going out to nature. To nature okay but being compassionate to other, others as well because you are someone who's very compassionate and you're going to have flow in the situation but let goddess blessings enrich your life okay yeah okay you and your loved ones are safe I have cancer here. There is something significant about a little girl. I seen a little girl yesterday with her parents and she was not very happy. Uh, there's something about a child that's very significant. This child could be like emotional because maybe you're just dealing with a lot in the relationship. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah. And luck is on your side. So it's like right now with the energy gaining momentum, it's like, it's coming, okay, but you have to be patient, and, but you also need to work harder regarding this, okay? Whatever it is that you want to achieve, you need to work harder, but smarter, okay? And luck is on your side. We have Sagittarius, okay? You could be dealing with a cancer as well. Some of you like the colors purple, red, or blue, okay? Adjustments are required, exactly. So you're going to need to adjust adjust things but also adjusting yourself at the same time working on yourself physically spiritually emotionally okay all areas of your life you're really going to be focusing on that but some of you really want to go out and dance and party i'm seeing some of you having family gatherings and dancing eating some good old food Something about uh, a car significant as well. I don't know if you're getting a new car, possibly a luxury car. Uh, it could be red or blue. Or, you know, you might just be looking at, at cars in general. Some of you might like the color uh, yellow as well. Yeah, and we have release, exactly, support, and grounding. Okay, so this reduces tension. This is the prana pranahana mudra. This reduces tension, supports eliminatory and reproductive systems, slows and directs the breath into the pelvis. Okay, okay, and this is how you do your hands. You might like the color red. This lowers your blood pressure. Okay, so it's like some of you could be really stressed, okay, and it's causing your blood pressure to elevate, and you really need to take it easy, especially on your salt intake. But, anyways, with deep awareness, I surrender what I no longer need exactly because it's like you're trying to call in and manifest those things that don't serve you when you know you really need to let it go and release it, but it's like this person is. Also working on working at, on this at this time as well. Okay, this person could also have high blood pressure. They could smoke. Okay, be addicted to a lot of different things. This person might have had a hard childhood. Just don't know how to love.
Hmm. Yep. This person know that you caught them or they're trying not to get caught. Still dealing with those third parties coming in like they want to offer people stuff. And they could be offering the third parties what they offer you as well. They could be dealing with the Gemini. Okay. For some of you, you're going to meet someone while you're out partying. Partying. Part, partying. <laughs> I'm saying partying. So when you part ways with somebody else and you go out, you could be... Um, Getting some kind of attention, okay, from an earth sign, uh, Gemini. I mean, Gemini. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini, okay, but Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. This person wants to come in and they want to have, they're going to come in with a message, okay, towards you. They might send you a message, send you a drink. I'm getting for some of you, okay, while you're out, but it's like you're still going to be dealing with this person for some of you. You, I mean. Say so it can have resonates, but it's like you might decide you, you're going to put them in a third party. Okay, you do me this way, I'm going to do you this way too. Like payback is a mother, right? I mean, let's just keep it real. You want to hurt me? I can hurt you too. That's how, that's what I'm getting, okay? Because it's like you found something out regarding this situation. You try to be fair regarding this person because you've already caught them or you will and when you do you're gonna try to move forward and do something different go out with your friends hang out and party okay but it's like yeah the lovers is here so it's you coming together with somebody possibly in a romantic way okay but it, like i say this person is someone who sees you sexually they don't really know what to do they have a choice to make they don't know which way to go what, what to do but at the same time you're going to be having that you might be having the same situation as well okay Okay. Some of you are going back to church. Like I say, you could be building a home, relocating, focusing on your money. Yeah. And so it's like this person knows that they need to apologize to you. They 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 know what they've done, okay, to you. They know that they put you in a third party situation. Okay. And this person it's like they're going to come in, try to offer this love and, and, and try to say that they're, you know, they're not doing this anymore, that they're a changed person because they see you as someone who's the empress. OK, it's like they want to come in. OK, they want to have balance in the situation. They want to have a new start with you. They see you as the empress. So it's like happiness is going to come. I feel like this is going to, uh, you know, move in your favor. But for some of you, take it how it resonates. You're going to be walking away from this person for good. You're going to find strength to do this with the strength card that we pull. OK, and it's like, uh, you know, but taking things steady and slow in a new relationship that you're going to be moving towards. But coming towards for some of you that's going to the past person that is hurting you you're going to take your time and make sure that they're not on the same bullshit because it's like don't come to me with that same energy okay i'm done with this i don't have time for this okay we're, we're done if you want to do this we're done because i can walk away i already got somebody named tyrone calling me so what, what you want to do okay Cause, cause we can do this all day. We got kids together. You already got to give me child support. So it's like, what's, what's going on? If we, if we, if we split ways, you gotta, you still gotta pay up. Okay. You still gotta pay that money. Cause it's like, yeah, for some of you, you are dealing with someone because that's, that's what they can provide is the finances and the love is no longer there. You're done. Okay. It's like trying to put on a persona for the kids at the same time or the family, but homecoming came out. So it's like coming back home to who you really are and what you really know. But it's like trying to make people think that you're really happy because you're still with this person, but you're really not happy. You're just using them for their money. OK, and this person's just using you in a sexual way. OK, a soul that touches the world with its truest creativity will leave a legacy of love. Exactly. Okay. 
being true to yourself and creating uh, bigger things, okay? Making people realize that you're someone who's true and you're not false. You're going to be yourself at the same time. And you're going to leave that legacy of positivity because some of you are giving back to the community as well. Some of you are big time um, donators, like to donate and take care of uh, your community. Okay, so yes, yeah, like you're really birthing an idea. Okay, but self development, self growth, as well success is going to bring you the freedom that you deserve. Working on your health, some of you could be, uh, you know, taking care of your skin, working out. Okay, trying to look good, feel good, but beauty. Okay, someone is going to really admire you. They see you, someone who's very beautiful, handsome. Okay. But your wealth is going to be better than it was. I'm seeing you really, uh, you know, trying to meditate that in. Some of you getting money out there, loans, okay? Trying to build a home, trying to hold on to your money to, to, to uh, build a home or to purchase that car that you want. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like you're going to be focusing on your finances and walking away from those things that are not, uh, you know, not for you. Some of you could be part of the LGBTQ, okay? But it's like this person is, uh, they see you someone who's very radiant. You're moving with the flow, okay? They're going to try to come in and be patient and try to do better for some of you. But it's like this, I don't feel like this person is going to change, okay? Be free from all that holds you back. We have love here. So this person does love you. They really care about you. They might come in and give you some kind of message, okay? Something about the color red is significant as well, okay? But safety, okay? So you feel like this person is your safety net or they do you, okay? But it's like at the same time, you keep forgiving this person and taking this person back and they keep doing the same thing and they know that they can get away with it, okay? Because like even though they love you, they, they like to have their cake and eat it too, Okay? Some of you are traveling out there. I heard a plane earlier, possibly traveling at night, but we do have the rain here as well. So it's like, yeah, you having a lot of pain, a lot of deep sorrow and regret, crying at night, up at night, up in your thoughts, could be cold, feeling cold, distant, okay? Five of ones, nine of ones, and ten of cups. Yeah, this person, exactly. It's the same cards that I pulled earlier coming out again, okay? Conflict, third parties, okay? Fighting, got a lot of options using you because they know that they can always come back because you're someone who's a part of the family, okay? Y'all have kids together, y'all already married, already together, living together, okay? But it's like this person trying to fight for you, trying to act like they want to move towards you, but they put you in a third party situation, okay? One more uh, influential card by Frida, and we're going to close this reading out. Two of them came out. You dwell in your mind day and night, shape it with purity, love, and gratitude. Exactly. And we have, you are a living work of art. You're always becoming your true self. So that's what you're really working on, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I think that was everything that I needed to say uh, regarding your reading, okay? I'm Tashma Unstoppable. Please subscribe, like, share my channel as well. Thank you in advance. Y'all stay up. Peace.